What's good, YouTube? It's Mirror Squiddy back in another Squiddio. So this crazy new Rescue Ace combo is surfacing online, and after one airlifter summon, you can actually end not only on set four with turbulence, but also an Ibli lock that's indestructible by battle. This is really, really nuts. It's been floating around online. A lot of people have discovered it. Uh, gotta give a shout out to Akroth for showing me this combo, but how it works is off one Rescue Ace airlifter that can be easily normal summon. We're just gonna go to our standard combo line, but I'm gonna show you guys, this is really, really crazy. And I really wanna bring this to your attention because if you get caught off guard by this in a regionals or YCS, and you're not playing something like Link Rebo, this could be really, really bad for you. So we're gonna go ahead and activate the emergency to summon out our hydrant. Very standard plays here. You guys already know how this works. Tribute off the airlifter to resolve the emergency. Effective hydrant is going to be able to add a copy of turbulence. And then from here, we can use the turbulence to summon himself out by banishing our two rescue ace cards from here. Assuming this resolves, we are going to be able to set four cards. So this is really, really nice here. Going to go ahead, depending on what you're playing, you could set the two traps if you are playing them. One of them obviously has to be the alert. And then we'll just set rescue here, just standard four that we're going to go ahead and set. And then from here, we're going to be able to activate the freshly set uh, freshly set alert because we control a rescue ace hydrant, which allows us to add a rescue ace monster from our deck to our hand instead. So we are going to go ahead and add a copy of the preventer. And then from here, we're actually going to use the effect of preventer in our hand to banish the rescue ace alert from our graveyard. And then here's where things get a little funky. So we're actually going to link off the preventer with the turbulence to go into one of our new link monsters. Puzzle Mino to drop in the leader. Though this is not necessarily a new Link monster per se, but he actually came out in Darkness Neil Storm a while ago. Nobody considered this card. Everyone thought it was just bulk, but now this card actually has a use. He's a generic Link 2 that says two monsters with different levels. And if a face-up monster is special summoned to a zone that this card points to, you can declare a level from one to eight. That monster becomes that level until the end of the turn. So this is the effect that we really care about. He has another effect where you can pop a monster on both sides of the field with the same level, but that one doesn't really matter. It's just an added bonus. But now we're gonna trigger the effect of the preventer in our graveyard to actually bring back our banished airlifter in that zone. And when he hits that zone that Puzzle Amino points to, we can use the effect of Puzzle Amino to modulate the level of airlifter to level two. And you can kind of see where this is going. Dropping the leader being a rank two with a level two, link two will be made into a gigantic sprite. You guys remember that gigantic can be used as a link material to make as well. And from here, we can use the effect of Gigantic, detaching one of the materials, summon out our Ibli. And you can see, again, this combo doesn't really take any bricks besides Ibli herself. We all have, all we have to do is really play Gigantic Sprite in Puzzle Amino in our extra deck, and that's just easily doable. And then we can link off Gigantic and the Ibli to go directly into our b -cop. And now we trigger the effect of the Nightmare Corruptor Ibli, bring that to our opponent's side of the table, and we can use the effect of the B cop to actually tribute itself and then target our opponent's Ibli and make it so it has a patrol counter. And while she has a patrol counter, it means that um, when she tries to get destroyed by battle or by card effect, she actually survives. We remove the patrol counter instead, meaning that if we do have other extenders and other ways to put link monsters on the board, now Nightmare Corruptor Ibli cannot crash and be destroyed by battle. So there's no easy way out of that unless they play something like a Linger Ebo. So I highly suggest that if you guys are playing a deck that's really volatile to this type of combo, definitely consider adding adding in a Linger Ebo, which would be really, really nice. But now that no one's really playing Linger Ebo, this combo is pretty insane, especially given how we can do it off of one airlifter alone. If people do start playing Linger Ebo, it'll be a lot worse because they can get rid of the Nightmare Corruptor Ibli and also be able to negate one of our traps, which is not ideal, right? But I think in a blind metagame, no one really knows about this combo. It's kind of fresh. If people see it, they might think, oh, it's kind of gimmicky. They might not actually consider it for a live event. So this could actually be really, really impactful because we're being able to commit like a heat soul on our board if we have other extenders for whatever reason, and then they can't crash the Ibli, and they're kind of Ibli locked, and we have the Hydrant alive with our traps and our spells as well. Just really crazy that you can demonstrate that off of one card. I highly suggest you guys uh, test this out if you are playing Rescue Ace or prepare for it if you're not. Now, the really cool thing about this combo is you don't actually need Airlifter to go into the combo. Instead, if you have Emergency plus any other Rescue Ace name to tribute from your hand or field, you can actually do the same combo. And how it works is we activate Emergency. We're going to bring out Hydrant instead here, and then we're going to tribute off whatever other name we have. And then from here, we're actually going to use the effect to add the Turbulence. So same kind of line here. We just forego having the Airlifter completely. Going to banish the two spells and monsters to summon out the turb from our hand. Use the effect to set four. 
You guys already know the deal here. And because we have Hydrant, we are going to be able to activate that alert immediately, which we will do. And then from here, we're going to use the effect to add a copy of the Preventer. So it's kind of the same combo, but really easily doable, even just with a combination of cards as opposed to just having the one airlifter, right? So it's just really, really nice interaction there. I feel like this deck definitely has a better opening board now that you can lock your opponent. And again, the nicer thing about the Ibley on their field is that they're not actually going to evenly match you because they control monsters. So that's something that's really, really detrimental to this deck's existence. Like if you get even lead, your entire advantage says goodbye, right? Like you lose everything off of this deck. Players were previously siding like Solemn Judgment just to counter that. But now you don't really have to do that because they, you can just give them a monster. So evenly is just not a factor anymore. It's absolutely crazy if you think about it, right? So guys, this is just something to consider. Uh, we're going to use the effect of Preventer just to bring back the name that we tributed. And then Puzzle Amino will modulate it to level two. And then from here, just going into the Gigantic. So like the existence of it is just so crazy that you can not only lock out your opponent but also shut off the evenly matched so it, it's just like really really crazy as long as they're not playing lingering this is just a crazy combo that i think has a lot of merit in the meta game right now it counters a lot of things especially the core weaknesses of a deck like rescue ace so having that in mind i think that is really really cool i just really want to show you guys like bring this to your attention uh this is something that i think lingerie definitely needs to come back for on top of any rogue cash players or whoever decides to play ibli as a hard normal summon in their deck to lock out their opponent and also stop things like nibiru so really really cool and also obviously being able to stop nibiru as well you know just like really really interesting uh tech choice so now just looking at a copy of the deck recipe, kind of like the theory of what you guys can theoretically put together, you really don't need anything other than Ibley and then the Puzzle Mino and the Gigantic Sprite. So it's not any investment at all, surprisingly. Like this is just really, really easy. You could just jam it into any standard Rescue Ace deck recipe and then just roll with it. Or even theoretically side in Ibley if you just want to play it going first. We could just easy side out for game twos when we're going second because obviously this has no usage. So I just think this is a really, really crazy combo. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on it, see how good it actually is in a practical competitive metagame setting because sometimes like these things sound better on paper, but this especially sounds good because we get to block out evenly matched we get to stop potentially even things like impermanence if an impermanence when they draw it on their turn we get to stop uh them from special summoning locking them out completely i think it's just a no-brainer that it's something we should test out in this deck i had no idea that this card puzzle amino with the drop in the leader actually existed but this card actually has a very creative effect that can be used going forward in any deck that's able to link climb easily so any deck that doesn't have any restrictions on link climbing uh so a deck like you know, any deck that allows you one card to be able to snowball into three, a link three like this current deck does, you can easily probably make use of the exact same combo and still use Puzzle Mino and in the future go into Gigantic and into Ibli. So I'm really hoping that Konami actually bans the Ibli from the metagame because she just seems to come back. Anytime she's playable, she's just really, really toxic to the game. And I just don't think that flood game monsters like this, especially can be special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, should be in the game. And... Now, even if, you know, they have something like a... If you're playing against Kashira, you can obviously just put this on their field. And if they do play Link or Evil, it doesn't really matter. Because even if we don't have any Link monsters, we put everything in defense mode, they're still not going to be able to clear that monster. So they're still going to be able to be locked out. So I would say very, very huge caution, especially if you are a Kashira player. Ibli is coming for you. So just make sure that you do prepare for that. This is a really, really powerful card when she does resolve unchecked. And yeah, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the com about the combo in the comments. And let me know if there's anything else along these lines or how we can counter this.